Rescue 911 Challenge. Shout out to all of you who serve or have served your country or community. This is Santana, an ER nurse who jumped in an ambulance when the apocalypse broke out. Watch her and her friends attack the lethal zone with lights and sirens as they kill all the plague hearts and rescue survivors in need. This will get crazy. She will get no sleep until the job is done. If you've served or are serving your country or community and you haven't already, put it in the comments so I can thank you. And I want to encourage all of you to be a hero and donate blood at your local blood bank. You can help a survivor in need. Now, let's get into this episode. Here's some first aid kits. Oh, joy. All right, get it. What is good, everybody? It's awesome. We're about to get started with the 911 rescue playthrough. We got all like the medical professionals, firefighters, we got ambulances, we have to roll lights and sirens. We're going to smash all the plague hearts and rescue survivors in need and help the community. Uh, I got my buddy Rax. This was his idea. So, what's up, Rax? How's it going? I got my buddy Ted. Ted's fun. Yo. Check out his YouTube channel. I'll link it in the description. A uh, really good buddy of mine. And. Phil, aka Battle Lord Omega, aka Master Samples, many, many aliases. And if you want to know where to get these survivors, I'm going to link the survivors with the medical scrubs. I will link that in the video to that in the description. Rules lights and sirens everywhere. Other than that, we're going to kill all the plague hearts and answer any survivors in need. This is Lethal Zone, and it's starting off with a bang. Look at that already. Oh boy. <laughs> all right. Here we go, Rax, this was all your idea, man. So I'm blaming you. I'm blaming, I'm blaming you for all the destruction that's about to take place. You did this. You did this to us. Who's that? that what's that line? You did this to us. Anybody? Oh, here we go, play card. Nobody? Nobody knows that line? Did this to us. You did this to us. Probably. It's very appropriate for the game we're playing. Is that from The Walking Dead? Is that, yeah, yeah, is that yeah. A, is that a Rick line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rick, when he has to um, take care of Shane. I haven't seen the play card in this in a while, guys. In this container. Last few times I played this map, it was not in here. Yeah, so we can use outposts if we want. Uh, I know a lot of our stuff, we go no base. I don't know, unless you guys want to make it no base and just run and gun. Have some fun. Oh, we, we, we can always come back. Come back. Yeah, so. I, we didn't plan on no outposts. We'll do outposts. We're just ripping and roaring, showing off these cool survivors, having some fun. We started, I got the nightstick given to me by um, Phil right there. Dude, Phil, I thought for sure you were going to find an excuse to bring Kearns in with his full mechanic outfit with the welding mask. <laughs> I was thinking about it, but I figured the. Uh, Is that Kern still the, though, right? The, yeah, it's still Kern's. He yeah, just changed he's his clothes. He's a firefighter today. He's a firefighter today. <laughs> and Rax, who'd you bring in? You brought in uh, one with the medical scrubs, like I have. Yep. Yep. Any uh, cool skills or anything? Sword play on that one. He does lots of squats. Lots of squats. Okay, <laughs> I wonder what that trait um, gives him or how that benefits anybody. <laughs> um, I would think. I don't know. Ted, I really don't know. Do you do lots of squats, Ted, in real life? Man, you know, those toned glutes, they're sauce. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right well, there's stuff in the play card if anyone wants to loot it. One heart down. And I probably should build like an infirmary, don't you think, guys? Might be a good idea. Oh, yes. Might come in handy yeah. later later in the playthrough. I mean, may maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> All right. Cool. Is there a chance there's one up here? And if you're watching this and you don't already subscribe to Ted's Fun, you got to subscribe. Hey, State thank of you. Two. Thank you, sir. Daisy, if you like this channel, you will like that channel. Oh, we forgot lights and sirens. We're breaking our own rules. Oh, goodness, there's a lot of things. Oh, I ran face first into a bloater, guys. Don't do that. Owie. Ah, 
Cool. We got a lot going on. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was one of you guys. <laughs> I hit the right trigger button to throw a dynamite right when that happened. It threw me off big time. Oh, we got two of these hordes that are going to infest a building. Also known as infesting hordes. Yeah, speedy ones. Yeah, there's a lot of dudes here. I got your back, Rax. All right. Anybody? <laughs> you chucking him? Oh, I thought you were chucking his zombie. You completely. Be, well, I was holding him, and he's like, "Anybody? Yeah, Anybody? You, you can believe <laughs> me." <laughs> Rax, have you ever? Um, or maybe Ted. I, I, I don't know if you've been in those videos, Ted. I know Phil has, where you use sword play, you cut off the zombie's legs, and then you can pick them up and <laughs> throw them back and forth, like you can play catch with them. Zombie ball. <laughs> There's a hippo Thomas right by the toilet here in this house. Never noticed that. Yeah, me and my friend invented zombie ball. Zombie ball. Do we got the basketball hoop out here? Let's see if it. Oh, it does. If you shoot the backboard, it puts a bullet hole in it. Something you might want to try. All right, we got the two guys in medical scrubs <laughs> on the leg heart. He shoots, he scores. What do we got outside? Whoa! What do we got? Oh, big one. I got four nades on me. For just this occasion. I'm hearing I'm grenades getting unpinned. Nice. <laughs> nice. I heard those two <laughs> grenades go ping, ping. The pin's getting pulled. Let's finish up this heart. How's your Pravi Ridge series going, Ted? Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's been real fun. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, the most interesting thing about it for me was just like, kind of like the economics of it. And um, we got to a point where uh, 75 Seventy-five percent of the plague hearts were gone. Yeah. But I was down to like, and I was in a stage two base. But man, I was down to zero influence. I had to grind for a while to be able to move into the level three base. Oh wow. Yeah, just kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah. What base are you in right now? Oh, that's a sidearm. I was going to, like, grab it with a shotgun in there. The fighter. Oh, well. the fighter oh base. yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. That's a good one. Oh, I'm going to grab the heavy weapon. Does someone want that? Someone get that shotgun sidearm. Yeah? Nah, I don't have room. No Otherwise, I wouldn't. All right. Cool. Yeah, we all I'm started good. with just sidearms, and so... Just to make it a little bit more challenge, only sidearms for the start. We got to find our rifles as we go. All right, you guys ready? Lights and sirens. Oh, dude, we got two more plague hearts right here. Okay. <laughs> and we woke them all up. I wonder how oh. that happened. There's an ambulance over here. Another one? We got to take wow. it. Wow. Yeah. What are the odds I was of like, that? Why? Who would park over here? Right. Well, maybe there was a medical emergency when the apocalypse broke out. Yeah, we got to take it, dude. It'd be awesome. We all, if we each had our own ambulance. All right, I'm rolling right. in on this plague heart. Yeah, Rax, these survivors are cool, man. These ones that you get from the tutorial. I'm glad you brought that up. Yep. Dude, look at that. Ted's fun. Ted watching my back big time. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I got the medical rug. All right. We're here to save some lives. Hey Ted, in your um, in your Providence Ridge community since the update, have you seen much of a difference in how like have the hordes affected your game, like the siege, uh, the oh. siege hordes, and or has it been pretty much has it affected the way you play, or is it pretty much the same as before that update? 
Yeah, I'm, I, uh, I'm very careful not to kill zombies in plague territory. Okay. Um, and, you know, ammo has become a precious commodity because I like to send people to destroy infestations to keep them in check. Yes, um, okay. Dang, I haven't tried that feature, believe it or not. I forgot all about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, just want to keep them from getting too out of control. Yep. So definitely, yeah, collecting more ammo than I ever have before, for sure. All right, guys, there's some good stuff in that heart. I only took the rock. Yeah, so ammo has become a thing. So you actually send out guys to go take care of the hordes for you. Uh, the infestations. The infestations, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And every once in a while, I, I spent two gas to send out a survivor to scout for infestations as well. Um. See, so I got, um, with this survivor here, with Santana, I got Camp Physician. It affects skills, but I'm not sure how. And a Practical <laughs> Joker, so that's a good one. I uh, give the gift of humor. It's a public service. Plus four morale. And then carries hand sanitizer. That's huge. Plus 50 infection <laughs> resistance. Dude, 50 wow. infection resistance for carries hand sanitizer. I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? No. I did not. Dude, that's uh, wild. No. Wow, 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 wow. You want to check yours, um, Rax? I know you got the same character from the same tutorial. I'm sure there's some differences. But you want to this read out your traits? This is the one traits? that does tons... Tons of squats, plus 10 <laughs> max carrying capacity. Okay. And a morale bonus in fighting. And she's, and he's hopeful, which is plus 6 morale. Okay. I'd take mine over yours. I think that perk of plus 50 infection resistance is too. ridiculous. That is awesome. That yeah, is, is cool. So Rax and I each got our survivor by replaying the tutorial. And at the end of the tutorial, you meet a doctor or some one of these types of characters who has medicine. And then you can carry that person into your community put them in your legacy pool, etc. We got one more heart here, I almost forgot. It's an emergency. Don't forget the other ambulance. I'm in the wrong house. Oh, I'm about to call the... Oh, smoke got me. Where's the feral? Is it dead? He's dead, he's okay. dead. How long are you going to carry that ruck on your back for there, Phil? Until we need it. Okay, <laughs> what is it? Is it meds? There's room in the yeah, ambulance. It's meds. Yeah, we got three ambulances worth of room. We got so much space oh, to carry good stuff. Point. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do that right now. It's, yeah. Uh... Ow, ow, ow. Who's hurting? I heard someone go, ah! Dude, I'm liking this. Oh, the, that was me. I was putting the rock in and the, uh. The guy decided to bite me. Oh, duds. That's not good. Um. Hey, there's a heavy weapon in there if anyone wants it. And I'm I'm liking this survivor. If you're asking, but people are going to ask where this backpack came from. It's the bounty pack. You have to do a bounty broker bounty to get it. This backpack right here. And it looks like it shows up in December. That'd be my guess. It's a cool backpack. The hard candy skull one. Dude, the screamer just broke the windows out of our ambulance. <laughs> is that covered by insurance? I don't think so, man. I don't think there is any more. <laughs> so when you guys want to grab that ambulance, we'll roll out. See if I can promote a leader yet. Yes. Santana is my leader. Let's find out what her full name is. Should know that. Carmen Santana. All right. All right, here we go. Lights and sirens. Yeah. Phil, you got that last one? Or, yeah. Sure. All right, here we go. 
Dude, that was a lot of hearts in one little area, man. Three of them right yeah, that there. Was a, that was weird. Yeah, when we drove yeah. up there, I'm like, do you guys think there might be a heart up there? Like, I thought one, maybe. I actually thought there wouldn't be. There was three. And another one. Oh, my survivor's got cool shoes, too. She's got, like, checkered... Green checkered converse. Like, <laughs> green and black. We got 30 hearts on the map. I, don't, I haven't seen oh. any survivors come up. I don't think we'll get that many. I didn't even see it. I, I thought you were a <laughs> You guys okay out here? <laughs> yeah. Was, was... I saw the red and I'm like, ah, kill it. <laughs> oh, I thought Phil might be squatting behind a tree again. <laughs> There's a nice bush here. I'll just do that right here. <laughs> Where's the feral? I hear him. Oh, here he is. They can't see me. Nice. I'm incognito. Nice. How you doing in here, Rax? It's all good? Doing well. Dude, this survivor is becoming a beast before my very eyes. I'm liking this. All right, we got the uh, brick hammer if anyone wants that. If not, I'll take it. I, I like the sledgehammer, but it's sledgehammer is so heavy. It is. It really is. I think I'll drop the sledgehammer in favor of the brick hammer. I'll put the sledgey in the trunk of one of these cars if anyone wants it heavy. Let's see. Dude, we, we are getting geared up, man. We're not, like, depleting resources. We're go I'm going up. Are you guys, like, getting out, running out of stuff, or are you guys doing well? I'm good. I feel like I got yeah, more I'm stuff than when I left. Yeah, I threw the, the wreck in one of the, I think, the new the new ambulance. Yeah. So there's, like, two two med wrecks in them. Dude, we're getting loaded, and we're not even looting. We're just, just knocking this thing out. Let's see. Luxury life. I'm trying to keep an eye out for any survivors in need, but none of them have popped up yet. Uh, you guys, what do you say we head to the north corner on, on my point? All right. All right. Grab the other ambulance. <clears throat> yeah. A minute now. Sweet. It's yeah. funny looking watching three ambulances roll somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Here, what do you guys go <laughs> first so I can watch them? Rolling. Waking up the whole neighborhood for sure. <laughs> I had neighbors uh, a few years back. And the house is... Maybe here... Maybe, Ted, you know what it's like. You're a California guy. But uh, the houses are only separated by the minimum requirement of, like, I think four feet on each side. There's, like, four feet, a wall, and then four feet. And on Wednesdays, they'd have, like, mariachi parties through the night to like four in the morning on Wednesdays. <laughs> wow. It's like not even on a Friday or Saturday. And it would be going to like three in the morning, four in the morning with like blasting mariachi music so loud. Waking up the neighborhood. It will go straight. Go wow, straight. wow, wow, wow. Great. Yeah, we'll go through here. <laughs> <laughs> I look back, it's funny. All right, this place is empty. No, no emergencies up here, guys. We're definitely Roger agitating that. the zombies for sure. The one over there in the corner? Maybe not. Well, we'll go up and check the corner while we're up here. There's a hidden weapons crate up here too. Yeah, I am thrilled with this survivor that I got here. Holy smokes, that plus 50 infection resistance. I wish I could replace her fifth skill with hygiene. That would just be overpowered. Get plus 50, stack it with another <laughs> plus 50. Well, with pathology, that gives you infection resistance, right? I don't know. I lost track of that. I used to know that. What, do yeah, you know what does. that's about? It does. I can't remember if it's, if it's uh, group-wide or... Oh, I didn't know there was one over here. Uh, it's just alcohol in it. I think it's only a melee weapon. We must have a plague heart up there. There we go. All right. 
Yeah, every time I've checked it, it has um, alcohol. Ooh, I heard a bloater. It has the alcohol in it and a uh, sword or something. There's never a gun that I can remember. Dude, I would love to get a survivor in need and rescue someone. That would be fun. <laughs> Recruit them. Here we go. Break it in. I should try to fight more zombies. I want to get the, that skill. I think my fighting skill needs to go up still. I forget the other one. Get out of the way so I don't get stuck. <laughs> I always get stuck in that one. You take take on an injury or trauma. Yeah. That's why I wasn't complaining that you said <laughs> take, the... take the door side. Uh, oh, yeah. Bully him. I'm gonna try to powerhouse him. I didn't have the effect I hoped it would. I thought maybe if I powerhouse him, it'd make him like fall so hard he does like a backflip. But no. Ooh, I just escaped that injury. Everyone good? Oh yeah. Oh, fighting's the only skill I need to get up. Oh, the rest oh of them, good lord. What's up? There are a lot of dudes rolling in that window. Good thing we got a fireman in there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing. All right. Let's knock this out. Just kicking butt, guys. Ooh, nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah. So I think I think Ted would be a firefighter. That was awesome. Definitely uh, Phil's a firefighter, and then um, got the medical, the EMTs here with me and Rax. So, so sauce. What's are we up? rolling with? Are we rolling with one character the whole time? Oh, uh, we could switch out. We're just having fun. All right. Okay. Just having fun. Is you guy getting sleepy? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, we can um, outpost. Oh, shoot. I meant to throw a grenade, and I took a stim. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't do the opposite. I mean to take a stim and then chuck a grenade. Watch out. Oh! Yes, <laughs> <sauce>. <laughs> oh, no big deal. She just gets up like nothing happened. Hey. <laughs> yeah, we can outpost this. Oh, what the? You know what was funny? Yeah, is, we should, probably should. Yeah, I'm going to so keep the same character all the way through, but you guys can rotate out. Thank you for letting me be a part of your day. If you're enjoying the channel, consider hitting that join button and becoming a member. You'll get access to members-only content, playthroughs together, and every penny goes towards Brooklyn's education. Thanks again.